a walk along the beach with double duck. Naturally, a duck should always be allowed to swim freely, but this little duckling was different to the rest. When he stumbled and fell out of his gooey, comfy eggshell, he was named Double Duck. Mama Duck gave all her ducklings names that suited them, so as not to get confused, and Debble being such a clumsy duck, his name suited him perfectly. At breakfast, Debble picked up small pebbles instead of eating the little scurrying insects. They were too quick for Debble, but he had no trouble catching pebbles. When it was time for their daily walk, he tripped over his two large flippers to embarrassment of his duckling siblings. When he was less than a week old, he stumbled for the upteenth time and frightened away all the insects, so all the ducks went hungry that morning. This was when Mama Duck quacked and said, That's enough! and took Debbel to Miss Brown's. His family gave him a lovely green bow to match his yellow feathers, so he looked his best and led Debbel at a wooden gate of Miss Brown's house to see if there was anything she could do for him. Miss Brown could never say no or no thank you, and how could she refuse the challenge of helping a clumsy duckling? She had a big heart and a tiny house near the sea, inhabited by all sorts of lost, forgotten, abandoned, confused and found animals. She adored every one of them. Soon Debble felt at home in his unusual habitat. Ducks usually lived near the brook, a pond somewhere with fresh water, but as soon as he sniffed the salty sea breeze, he felt free and knew he could be his clumsy self while at Miss Brown's, and she wouldn't get cross with him or be frustrated. He got along especially well with three playful kittens, but Debble got tired quicker than his new friends. When they rolled and bounced through a tangle of wool, he struggled to focus and became drowsy. He loved to curl up against the kitten's warm fur to fall asleep, snoring and trying to purr like a cat, but all he could manage was a little splutter. Even though Debble was young, he loved helping Miss Brown care for the other foundlings. But when he tried to untangle the kitten's long-haired fur with his clumsy flippers and flat broad beak, he accidentally pecked their short fluffy tails instead. But Dabble was just a little duckling with a soft bill and the kittens barely noticed, but he still felt embarrassed. Miss Brown kept a close watch on her favorite duck, not noticing he was the only duck she had and was a little worried. However, she didn't show it. She called him one day so they could go for a walk together. Debble became anxious, and he was going to be asked to leave, and he pulled out his lovely green color, just in case. He assumed he had to go and live somewhere else for being such a clumsy dabbling duckling. Miss Brown was touched to see Debble waggle across to her dressed in his beautiful color and took him for a walk along the beach. Debble gulped and tripping over his flippers he wobbled behind Miss Brown, still afraid he would be told to leave. Miss Brown scattered shells every few steps in front of Debble's flippers and watched as he tripped over each one. She narrowed her eyes, took off her glasses, and asked the shivering little duckling to look through her spectacles. 
devil peered out of them, and it looked like the world had been reinvented, especially for him. He was amazed with his new eyes, and saw things and small details he'd never seen before. Miss Brown realized he couldn't see properly, and because of this he felt tired quickly. Devil's eyes needed some help. Now Devil understood why he was such a dabbling, clumsy duckling, always tripping over everything in front of his flippers. Now the Devil could see he felt like the luckiest duckling in the world. Devil quickly found new friends to help Miss Brown take care of, and kept a close watch on them with his fancy new all-seeing glasses.